Okay gents, our new refueling rig. Fairly straightforward, now Steve's taught me how to do it. Um, release this there, and that allows the nose nozzle to come out and fall on the floor. You need to open the valve there, so closed is across, open, straight up. It has got an earthing cable, so it's quite a short cable, so if I put it on that beam there, I imagine that's as good a uh, earthing point as any other. Obviously, I need to undo the fuel cap. Okay, we still need to use the filter in the funnel, so because there's no filter built into that, so we're still going to have to use this filter. So. Pop it in there. That's what we normally do. I'm going to hand it over to Steve to do the video in there. So, just by moving the lever side to side, we'll bring the fuel out. Just pump slowly because it does come out at some speed. So, I'll avoid the splash back. comes out quite quickly, no lifting the heavy jerry cans, quite straightforward. At the moment this trigger doesn't seem to do anything, I've got to read the manual to find out if that's meant to be like that or whether it's a problem that we need to solve. Uh, okay, do stick. Okay, so this is too big to take to petrol stations unless you've got to pick up and it's bloody heavy. So if we continue to use the jerry cans, and then we'll fill this from the jerry cans. If you unscrew that cap there, and then we can use the funnel with the filter again, just to fill this tank up. It'll be much easier transporting those from the petrol station than this. But again, use the filter, avoid um, possible debris going in that tank. So yeah, keep filling the jerry cans up. Make sure we've got plenty of uh, fuel available. It holds 95 litres. So, you know, it's a lot of fuel, hopefully we shouldn't go down.